Looks like she's having fun though, it's always good to see. And Andrew's pick, the Olympic gold medalist, 14-year-old Momiji Nishiya from Japan. Every score is huge, it's really important. Momiji Nishiya, in. Straight into a big Smith grind. Andrew, this is your pick. So she far, is so, so, so comfortable out there. Just the way that she skates the course, take a look at her arms. She barely moves them on any of the tricks. She doesn't look affected by the pressure at all. Now you're right. So calm. And that's, that's the perfect example right there, what you're talking about, Andrew. Just hands down. Solid backside lip slide, putting together a great line. But five seconds is going to be the last trick. Make it count. It's going to be right on the buzzer. Oh. 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 A Smith grind over the Karayuma gap. She just got a little hung up. Her front foot was kind of. That was right on the buzzer after the buzzer. It's up to the judges to decide. Yeah, it's it's. You know, as we talked about in the past, if you're going to fall, right, you know, if you fall at the end, it hurts your score, but at least it doesn't bite into your time. There's that visible replay, gap to 5-0, and that clean backside 50-50, no body movement, no arm movement, as Andrew stated, showing good control. So she had 45 seconds, 44 and a half seconds of strong skating. See how that's that was a great up. line. Had a good oh, used a lot of the rails, the higher rails, the lower rails. Yep, good enough for second place. It's Momiji Nishia, the Olympic gold medalist. Gap out crooks. Some slight tactics here, I think. Yeah, we talked would be about that. Strategy in effect. So okay, if that's worth a 5.1. And I just need a few solid scores before I really put the hammer down. Drop the 5.1. Almost a backside nose grind on that. Looks like she's having fun though. It's always good to see. Olympic champ right there. 5.1. Predictable. But as you said, clever too though. Tactics, strategy. She's got a 19.2 right now. Momiji in, back Smith. That's gonna be her third score. So she, you're gonna see a big jump in the placings. There's that slow-mo, locked and loaded back Smith. You can see the no movement in her arms, no compression when she lands. Very powerful, strong skater on the rails and hubbers. I love those landings. They're just, they're too casual. 6.0. She's up in the top four. That's the spot to be. The last skater to go who's not in the top four. She's the only skater that can upset this top four. She needs a 4.4 or better. Oh, she missed the ball oh. dropping in. She gets a do-over. She did not pop the tail. Quick Start rebate. Quick rebate. Oh! Oh, oh my <laughs> Jeff, okay. All she needed was a 4-4, and she comes out front. Big spin board slide. Gap to have a rail. Yeah, that's way above a 4.4. She's going to come in hot right now. That was epic. Okay, the way so she did it, too. Watch the way she dips her board down, flat across the wide metal hubber. Very, very, very excellent, clean, technical execution of the trick. And she knows it. She's like, that's how, that, when I'm doing them at my, at my best, that's it. That's how it feels. That's how it looks. Now, listen to what's going to set up here, Jeff. Rose Wetzloat is in fourth before that Momiji score comes in. So we're assuming Rose is going to get bumped out of the top four, and she's going to have one try still to go to try to change that again. Let's see what the judges think. Let's see what the judges think. 4.4 or better gets it done. Yeah, 8.0, highest score of the day, of the weekend. Momiji Nishi is in second place, and Rose did just get bumped out. Now, Pamela Rosa is in fourth.